I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on percent. We have actually two questions here with very similar values. First one is a square frame is increased from 64 centimeter square to 144 centimeter square. By what percent were the side lengths increased? Now the second question is a square frame is decreased from 144 centimeter square to 64 centimeter square. By what percent were the side lengths I should have written decreased? Okay, because we have decreased. Okay, so if I write increase, negative answer will give you decrease. Correct. Anyway. So they look very similar. You may expect same answer or different. That's first thing. Well, as most of you suggest, we should have different answers, right? Okay. We are given area of a square frame. So let's talk about, let me make uh, here. So let's say we have one small square and one big square. Area of these two is 64 and 144. If area is 64, what are the side lengths? So we know the area is side square and therefore square root of area is the side length. So here the side length is square root of 64 which is 8 and in this case it is square root of 144 which is 12. All sides of a square are equal, correct? Now, let's read the question. A square frame is increased from 64 to 144 centimeter square. By what percent were the side lengths increased? So whenever you want to find percent increase, it is always final minus initial over initial wherever you start from times 100 okay so that's the formula so just apply the formula and calculate since we want percent increase of side length we'll consider sides 8 and 12 so the increases from 8 to 12 we'll do 12 minus 8 divided by started from 8 right in this case times 100 do you see that that gives you the the answer right it's easy calculation 8 minus 4, 12 minus 8 is 4. So 4 divided by 8 times 100, which is 50%. Right? In the second case, however, square frame is decreased from 144 to 64. Right? So the situation is reversed. Final is 64. Do you understand? Final is 64. That is a decrease, right? So it is 8 minus 12 divided by initial started with 12 do you see that part times 100 and that makes huge difference so let's use the calculator and of course we have a negative answer to signify degrees right so that is uh, 4 i mean let's do okay i wrote 4 let's clear this we have 8 minus 12 equals to minus 4 times 100 and then we'll divide by 12 which is equals to minus 100 over 3 in decimals, as you know, is 33.3%. Do you see how different the answers are? In the first case, when we are increasing, it becomes 50%. In the second case, when we are decreasing, it becomes 33.3%. You get the idea. The reason is, starting with... In the second case, we started with a bigger amount, so that goes in the denominator and reduces the percent. That is the reason which you need to appreciate when working with percent change questions. I hope that helps. Feel free to make suggestions, subscribe to my videos and post your questions. Thank you and all the best.